Good day. So, I'm Ian Carlo Calderon and I'm here to explain the solutions on problems on quiz one retake for the subject TCAC machinery. So, for the first problem, a short shunt compound generator delivers a load current of 30 amperes at 220 volts and has armature series field and shunt field resistances of 0 0.04 ohms, 0 0.2 ohms, and 100 ohms. Respectively, calculate the generated EMF and the armature current at a 1 volt per brush contact. So first, we need to get the given on the word problem. Then for the first step, we need to solve the voltage for the series 1 part. So V is equal to I times R. So 30 amperes multiplied by the uh, resistance on series, uh, series, series field winding. Uh, 0 0.2 ohms and we get the value of 6 volts for this part the formula is v plus v plus the voltage in series winding so 220 volts from the term from the terminal voltage plus 6 volts from the series winding volt so uh, so uh, add to each other and we get the value of 226 volts then sa susunod we need to find the value of current on the shunt field part. So here, V plus I sub LRS 226 over the resistance of shunt field 100 ohms is equal to 2.26 amperes. And for the uh, for the armature current, and uh, we need to we need to do the KCL method. So I sub L 30 amperes plus I sub F which is 2.26 amperes and we get the value of 32.26 amperes. So for the second part of this problem, uh, arm armature voltage drop, so I sub A multiplied by R sub A for the armature part, 32.26 A times 0 0.04 ohms multiplied to each other and we get the value of 1.2904 volts. So sa susunod naman, uh, we need the KBL. We need to do KBL and we get this equation. So EMF generated is equal to voltage, a uh, terminal voltage, which is 220 volts, plus the plus the voltage on the armature, voltage, uh, armature voltage drop, 1.2904, plus the voltage across the series winding 6 volt and uh, for the last for the last part, the two volts since this is a DC motor, two times per brush uh, the value on per brush drop per brush contact drop is equal to one volt. So two times one is equal to two. So we get the summation of it, and we get the value of two two nine point two nine zero four volt volts or EMF generated is equal to two hundred twenty nine point twenty nine volts when round rounded off to the nearest hundreds. So for the second problem, a shunt generator delivers a 100, amp 100 amperes at terminal voltage of 250 volts. The armature resistance and shunt field resistance are 0 0.02 ohms and 50 ohms respectively. The iron and friction losses is equal to 900 watts. First, find the EMF value. Second, the copper losses. Third, the output of the prime motor, and the, for the last part, we need the efficiencies in terms of commercial, mechanical, and electrical. So for the first, we need to the we need to get the values of the word problem. We need, we need for, for the given so for the first part. So una, EMF generated. To get that, we need to solve first for the shunt field current. So V terminal voltage over the resistance on the shunt field. 250 volts over 50 ohms is equal to 5 amperes. To get the I sub A, uh, we need the uh, the the current terminal uh, the load uh, load current 100 amperes plus the uh, shunt field current plus 5 A, plus 5 amperes. So we get value of 105 amperes. And for the uh, armature voltage, uh, I sub A multiplied by R A. 105 amperes that we got here and times 0 .0 point, 0 0.02 ohms and we get a value of 2.1 volts. So for the EMF generator, finally, 
voltage 250 volts plus the voltage on the armature 2.1 volts and we get a buy of 252.1 volts for the emf generated for the second part of the second problem uh, armature copper losses so armature copper loss is as a uh, it is it's in terms of power so power is equal to i squared over uh, i squared multiplied by r so i a squared r times r a since it is armature so 105 amperes here squared times 0 0.02 ohms so we get a value for the armature copper loss of 220.5 watts for the shunt copper loss uh, since power has also a formula of p is equal to volts times current PV, p is equal to v times i 250 volts times 5 amperes that we got uh, uh, that we got that we got it earlier here and multiply it to each other and we get the value of 1,250 watts for the shunt copper loss so add them together and we get the total copper loss of 1,470.5 watts for the third part we need to take note that the value for the stray losses which is the uh, which is the iron and friction losses is equal to 900 watts and for the total losses copper loss total copper loss plus the stray losses add them together and we get the value of 2370.5 watts for the for the uh, for the output power pvi voltage 250 volts times i sub times i current 100 amperes and we get the value of 25000 watts and here we are to get the power on to get the output power on the prime mover so p out output power 25000 watts plus total losses 23 uh, 12370.5 watts add them together and we get the output uh, the value of the output of the prime motor which is equal to 27,370.5 watts for the last part of this problem we need to solve for the efficiencies so the, for the value of the output of the prime mover 27,370.5 we need to consider it as the generator input or the p sub in 27,375 27,370.5 watts Take note that the stray losses is equal to 900 watts. For the electrical power induced in armature, or P sub A, uh, it is equal to the uh, power of prime mover minus the stray losses. Since stray losses are considered in terms of mechanical, in mechanical and P A is electrical, uh, electrical power, uh, we need to subtract the Mechan mechanic, uh, mechanical stray losses which, so 27,370.5 watts minus 900 watts so we get the value for the PA 26,470.5 watts so for the mechanical efficiency PA over PA over P in 26,470.5 over 27,370.5 watts times 100% and we get the value of 96.71% for the mechanical efficiency for the electrical efficiency uh, take note that the copper loss is the total copper loss is 1470.5 so p out 20, uh, 25,000 25,000 over p out plus copper so the value is 20, 26,470.5 times 100 percent and we get the value for electrical efficiency electrical efficiency we get the value of 94.44 percent and lastly commercial p out p out over p in 25,000 over 27 370.5 times 100 and we get the value of 91.34 percent for the commercial that will be all. Thank you.